Hey, welcome back to the second half of the four o'clock news on this Thursday. I'm Jason Wheeler. We're starting off once again with meteorologist Jesse Hawila, because in case you didn't catch us at the top uh, of the hour at four o'clock, uh, he's going to tell you again just how miserably hot it's going to be. It's hot, but it ain't Phoenix hot. But no, no, seriously, I, I was seeing some long range forecast in the Phoenix area. It always gets extremely hot there. Yeah, but just remember, though, could be worse, right? Could 115, worse. 118, 119, close to 120. We're so cup half full, so, you know, that's us. <laughs> Even yeah. between the two of us, I don't think we get to a half full cup. No, no. a couple <laughs> drops, maybe. <laughs> and it depends on the day. It's, we, uh, we, yes, do it our, does. we do our best. Let me show you. There you go, 93. That's Dallas. your best? That's the best I can oh, do. Geez. 96 in Waxahachie, 83 in Breckenridge, Jason. Not Colorado, Texas, 83 oh. Albany, 82 Abilene. So it's hot. Yes, it's July. Uh, here's what we have going on, Satrad. So we had a couple of thunderstorms earlier today. Here, let, watch right here. So Collin County down to Rockwall County, they're kind of fizzling out there. We could still bubble up a couple of storms before the day is over. Look at this here. See some thunderstorms try to pop up in Navarro and Henderson counties as it lifts to the north. It, you know, with these two boundaries right here, a lot of times this is just enough lift for a thunderstorm or two right here as they kind of come in together. So, you know, Ellis, Johnson, Kaufman, we're not done completely with the rain chance. Next several hours, 20% coverage, 90 at 7, 85 at 9 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, we wake up to 77. Tomorrow's a dry day. It'll be a sunny and hot and humid day, but it just gets hotter over the weekend, and there are some rain chances to talk about as well. Your full forecast is coming up. All right, we will check in here in just a few minutes, Jess. Thank you. Uh, speaking of heat here, Earth reached its hottest day ever recorded for three days in a row. The heat blanketing much of the planet has been driven by El Nino this year, as well as climate change over a longer term. ABC's Melissa Adan reports today that those conditions may prompt even hotter temperatures over the six weeks ahead. The relentless heat that's been scorching the South is spreading across the nation. And the U.S. isn't the only ones feeling it. Those temperatures are reaching all over the globe. Earth reaching its hottest day ever recorded for three days in a row from July 3rd to the 5th. Look how high above the actual curve of where we actually usually see summer that we are. And that's for now. We usually get even hotter toward the end of July and early August, and that's the globe. The National Centers for Environmental Prediction tracks average global temperatures. On July 4th, the average temperature on Earth reached 62.92 degrees Fahrenheit, breaking a record set in August of 2016. The Climate Tracking Group also found that June was the hottest month ever recorded. Scientists say trends are showing how every year it's been getting hotter and even higher temperatures are expected in July and August as El Nino strengthens. Frustrating, it's a little scary to hear it. And that added heat, um, the air can carry more moisture. So when you get large storms, they can be more extreme. This week, record high temperatures were recorded from coast to coast. Sarasota, Florida at 99 degrees and Seattle, Washington at 91 degrees. The hot weather now bringing heat alerts to the northeast. ABC's Ginger Z suiting up in a mosquito net showing us a ghost forest, she explains. It's one of the most striking ways to indicate climate change because the sea is rising so quickly here in the Mid-Atlantic that we are seeing these ghost forests where the salt water intrudes on the forest, takes out the trees. In the West, an excessive heat warning is in place in Arizona where highs could be in the 110s. The CDC warning people to limit their time outdoors as heat is the number one weather-related killer in the world. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.